Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator, and we're going to talk about the Samozariadini Carabin Sistemi Simonova, or the SKS. Specifically, we're trying to figure out what the difference is between a Russian and a Chinese manufactured SKS. Honestly, there's a lot of negative sentiment revolving around Chinese SKSs still. Maybe some old myths floating around that they're cheap crap. Are they really that bad though? Nah, even world-class shooting competitor Jerry Michalek has made a video about the Chinese SKS on his YouTube channel. And the most commonly produced ones are the Chinese ones. So if you're going to find one, it's probably going to be one of those. What's the difference between a Chinese-made SKS and a Russian-made SKS? First, the Russian-designed SKS-45 was manufactured from 1945 to 1958, and you'd find the majority of them made around the 1950s. The Chinese started manufacturing the SKS in 1956. They called it the Type 56. These early Chinese-made SKSs were to spec, or almost to spec, of their Russian SKS-45 counterparts. The Chinese Type 56 was made with a blade bayonet up until 1964, and then afterwards they were designed with a spike bayonet. Early Russian Type 45 SKSs were made with a spike bayonet. Early Russian SKSs didn't have chrome line bores. Chinese Type 56s were made with chrome line bores. Early Russian Type 45 SKSs were made with a spring-assisted firing pin, while the Chinese Type 56s were made with a free-floating firing pin. Hey guys, we're going to take a little intermission so we can pulverize that like button and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps out with the channel, and I'm looking forward to making more videos to help you guys. Thanks. So sometime in 1966, that's when the Chinese started trying to simplify their manufacturing process on their Type 56 SKS. Some of these things that were simplified was the stamp trigger group instead of the mill trigger group, the two-piece gas tube, and the reduction of lightning cuts in the bayonet and the bolt carrier. Both the Russian SKS-45 and the Type 56s had screw-in barrels, but later Chinese Type 56s had pin barrels because they were trying to ease the manufacturing process. Now just comparing each other's stock, the SKS-45 stock seems a bit beefier, while the Type 56 feels a little bit smaller and lighter weight, even on the blade bayonet types. For a little time there, some of the Type 56s had a sling swivel to the side instead of underneath. And there might be some other subtle differences between the Chinese Type 56 and the Russian SKS-45. When we look at the two, there's a difference in the gas block and maybe some minor size differences in some of the parts. But for the most part, they look and function Function almost exactly the same. <clears throat> so, what are the reasons why the Chinese Type 56 is not as expensive as a Russian SKS-45? Well, the Russian SKS-45 was the first designed, it's the first to be manufactured, it's the original, it's Russian. They get a lot of credit for producing a rifle such as this. The Chinese were just seen as making a copy of it, but the reality is the Russians helped the Chinese establish a factory to manufacture the SKS. Another reason why the Russian SKS is going to be more pricey is because there was way less produced than the Type 56 SKS. It's about 2 million to about 20 million. And you also have a larger collector group for Russian type weapons. So that's also helping the price stay higher for the Russian SKS-45. So if you're looking for your first SKS and you don't know where to go, the Chinese Type 56 is a great option as it's very close to its Russian SKS-45 counterpart. So if you're looking for something to take to the range or just shoot on a regular basis, the Chinese Type 56 is not a bad deal at all. Well, I hope this video shed some light on the differences between the Russian SKS-45 and the Chinese Type 56 SKS. So hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about what's going on. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day. Thanks.